I hope President Biden uh, meant what he said in Bali, and the United States is really serious in sticking to this one China policy, because otherwise uh, the world will be completely out of mind and it will be a very, very dangerous world. And thirdly, I think it is universally recognized and acknowledged, including by the United States, that there is only one China and Taiwan is part of China. This policy has formed the rock stone upon which China-U.S. relations have been developed uh, since January the 1st, 1979. And this actually has generated huge benefits for the American people as well as for the Chinese people. And therefore, I hope President Biden has fully realized that this one China policy is not only good for China and for both sides of the Taiwan Strait, it is actually very good for the American fundamental national interest. Therefore, I hope the top brasses in the United States will heed what their commander in chief is saying and will need to readjust their policy accordingly. Now, the Admiral may have confused China's capabilities with China's intention. I think there was a former leader of Taiwan, uh, Ma Ying-jeou, President Ma Ying-jeou, who said that ever since the beginnings of the 1960s, China's mainland had already acquired significant and sufficient military capacities to take Taiwan by force. But why it has taken so many decades that China has never demonstrated any real eagerness to uh, take over Taiwan by force, to achieve national reunification by force. Because China, ever since the beginnings of the 1980s, has been promoting the peaceful reunification of Taiwan and has never emphasized the use of force.